Morning, everybody. It's the Ionic Guy here. And now that I got my trailer hitch installed, I'm gonna run some efficiency tests to see how far I can actually take the trailer before I have to stop and charge. So I'm not going to do a full 100% to 0% battery drain test because I just don't have the time to do that. And we can gain enough information from the efficiency numbers that we can extrapolate that to what a full battery would be. So what I'm gonna do is I live fairly close to the main interstate that goes through here. And I'm going to drive over there, hop on the highway. I'm gonna do 25 miles out and 25 miles back to negate any changes in elevation. Um, weather today is in the low 60s, mid 60s. So I'm also going to run the car in eco mode with level one regeneration while I'm on the highway. I'm gonna set the cruise control at 65 miles per hour, just because that's a safe speed to tow a trailer at. If, if, if I'm going somewhere, I might go up to 70 miles an hour, but I never really go much further than that. Um, just in preliminary testing, pulling the trailer, I went for like a, a 10 mile drive the other day. Towing with an EV is like night and day compared to my old Mazda CX-5. This car has so much mass to it that it just, it feels so stable. You don't really feel the trailer pushing on it when you're when you're braking too much. Um, my trailer weighs about 12, 1300 pounds fully loaded with, with gear and stuff. So it's not a super heavy trailer, but with my Mazda CX-5, if you were doing an emergency braking maneuver, if traffic on the highway for whatever reason just came to a sudden screeching halt, you could really feel the trailer pushing the car forward and increasing your stopping distance. But with this, it's like it just stops just like you're driving any other day of the week without the trailer on and the acceleration that you get with this thing i mean it's you don't even feel it back there it's crazy i'm so impressed i'm so happy just a little less range versus the mazda is perfectly fine with me with a full tank of gas i could maybe do 175 200 miles on a tank um, granted the Mazda CX-5 has a fairly small gas tank. It was only, I think, 13 gallons. So once you factor in all the losses from towing, 175 was pretty average for my, my full distance with the trailer. So if I can get anywhere near that with this, I will be very impressed. So I'm gonna have the climate control set to auto level one and at 72 degrees, which is what's comfortable for me. That's what I would keep it set on if I were on a long drive. So in this video, I'll also be able to let you know how highway drive assist level two performs on the highway with a trailer. I'm interested to see how it does. Um, obviously towing a trailer is a little bit more um, consuming in terms of brain power. You're always constantly looking at more things um, so any alleviation of, of the stress of towing a trailer is appreciated and uh, hopefully it works well. There's very little wind today, only about three miles an hour, so that shouldn't have any effect on our range, but I'm going to check the efficiency over about 51 miles and we'll see what I can get on a full charge. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So as you can see in the menu here, I have it in trailer mode and it's set to medium weight trailer, which I wish they would give you a range of what these various weights are. Um, since the towing capacity is 2000 pounds, I think my trailer being at 12 to 1300 would probably constitute it being a medium weight. So because I'm in trailer mode, the car has automatically adjusted the projected range from about 240, which is what I usually see at a 100% state of charge. And you can see the battery is at 100% right now. 62 degrees, sunny, no wind. Let's hit the road. All right, guys, we just did 25.3 miles. And you can see my efficiency was a little less than I was hoping for, but still not horrible. 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour. I've used 17% of the battery. So this is the turnaround point. Temperature is still the same. I did notice that in eco mode while towing a trailer, it won't disconnect the front motor. It stays four wheel drive the entire time. So that's a little bit of a bummer. It's probably there for some specific reason that I'm not familiar with, but I don't know if, how much that would have helped, but we should see. 
All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, folks, so just under an hour, a little over 50 miles, two miles per kilowatt hour exactly. You can see that shows up as us losing 32% of the battery. So let me do some quick math here and uh, I'll get some numbers. All right, everyone. So two miles per kilowatt hour times 77.4 gives me an estimated range of about 154.8 miles. And most of the time when I'm towing my trailer, my girlfriend's in the car with me. So we'll say 150 miles in about 62 degrees, no wind, kind of meandering, rolling hills. Um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. 150 miles can get me most places that I want to camp here in New England. Once you get out of the Connecticut and Massachusetts area, the DC fast chargers become a little bit more spread out spread out and almost non-existent up in new hampshire and vermont and central and northern maine i don't think there's a dc fast charger north of portland maine so going north would definitely be an issue unless i had a destination i could charge at after that final stop so we haven't left new england with it we did have the thought of possibly taking it cross country with us at some point that would definitely be an adventure um Maybe something to do in the next few years as the the DC fast charging infrastructure gets a little bigger, better, more robust, more reliable. Electrify America, if you're watching this video, which you probably aren't, but please start installing DC fast chargers that are pull through. For people like me who have trailers, I am I do not want to have to go to a DC fast charger every 150 miles, decouple my trailer, park it, lock it, pull it in, fill up, then do the reverse, reattach it. It's just an extra probably 10 minutes at every charging session. So 18 minutes from 10 to 80% plus 10 minutes, that's about a half an hour at every, every stop. So, I think, I think it's gonna be good for now, um, at least with my use case, towing here in New England. So doing a little bit more math, I did the calculation and it turns out for every 1% of battery loss, it equates to 1.58 miles. So 1.58 times 100% full charge would equate to 158 miles. So that's almost spot on with um, the, uh, the range based on uh, average consumption of two miles per kilowatt hour. So it's nice to see that those two kind of match and agree with each other. Um, unfortunately, it seems like my trailer's weight kind of falls in between medium and small. Small weight gives me a much larger estimation than I know I have left and medium is just a little too short. So I think I'm gonna keep it set on medium weight just so that I'm a little more conservative and just make sure that I can arrive somewhere with enough battery. But I think I will base some of my stops more so on the percentage level versus the gesso meter. So as I suspected, highway driving assist worked great until the entire system crashed. I was about three quarters into my drive and all of a sudden the center screen went completely black and then I got two messages on the, the driver display that said check highway drive assist and then I can't remember what the other one said but um, basically just telling me that the system wasn't functioning properly. It didn't stop though. It kept driving. It just gave me a warning message and then about 20 seconds later the center screen rebooted and picked up where it left off. Um, this was the first time in 3,200 miles that I've had just a complete crash of the system. Um, kind of odd that it coincides with the latest software update. So maybe that's a bug that Hyundai needs to look into. Towing experience was, was great, just like my test drive the other day. Um, 
very happy with it. The acceleration just gives you so much more confidence. When, when on the highway, I got stuck behind a couple tractor trailers that were doing about 60 in the slow lane and I wanted to pass them. And traffic in the middle lane and the left lane were going 75, 80, 85 miles an hour. And I had no problem, even in eco mode, just putting my foot down, past that trailer truck, zipped right around it, got back in the slow lane and everything was hunky dory. Um, so having that extra power where is if I were in my Mazda CX-5, the acceleration was god awful on the highway with the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated engine. Um, probably would have been better with the turbo, but most of the time when I was towing with that car, it would also sit in like fourth gear. Sometimes I'd get up to fifth gear and it would just be so loud and droning on the highway for long trips. And towing with this on the highway, just completely dead silent. Oh my God. So all in all, I'm very happy. It was a great experience. I'm glad I now kind of have a baseline of what I can expect when I want to take it out. So quite happy. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys liked this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.